Hello my lovelies! Welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys and girls, for this new term we're going to learn about colours. So we're going to learn about painting and mixing the primary colours which are red, yellow and blue and we're going to uh, by using these primary colours, we're going to make new colours. We're going to have some fun time together. So boys and girls, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to make a colour wheel. A colour wheel is like this and it has primary colours, which we mentioned just a minute ago, red, yellow and blue, and the complementary colours. So by mixing the two primary colours together, you get a complementary colour. So, boys and girls, we're going to begin with a, a drawing of a colour wheel. So, the colour wheel, you can use um, shapes, round shapes, so that you can trace around it. Alright, so you can choose different shapes to trace around your, um, to get a circle. And then you divide it into three uh, parts. One, two, three. And you will get six segments to do the different colors of the color wheel. So boys and girls, we're going to begin using red. So you shake or mix your color well by, um, let me turn this this way. Good. So we're going to put red here, yellow here, and blue there. All right, so we're going to drop a couple of, to have enough red here. So you make sure that your paintbrush you have a, a paintbrush that you will be able to reach in the corners so you can't have a rounded edge like that for your brush it would be better if you you have a brush that has a point in the end so that you can reach these really pointy ends um, that's a very narrow you could use a very small paintbrush like this but boys and girls it's going to take you a long time all right, so it's up to you. So boys and girls, you um, take your red that you've just poured out and you paint uh, one of the segments. Now red is a very um, dominant color. It's like it's a, you, you would see the, uh, the color red in signs, even, even in traffic signs. You have the stop sign, which is red. It goes red in the when you uh, um, in the streets when you when you um, get to a pedestrian crossing. Uh, you will see the red that means stop, and uh, also red is a, a color that depicts emotion. So, like red can be like an angry. You you'd be angry, so you you show. Um, anger by using the color red and um yeah so that's that's that also um people use red when um for example if you are embarrassed about something and so you uh paint the character a shade of red because uh, you know the person's got embarrassed so yeah we can use the red color for many different um, things and then after red you wash your brush out very thoroughly don't forget to have your rag close by to wipe the excess pa paints and water and then we're going to go straight into yellow so we'll just pour a little bit of yellow in the palette we, we, we had to um, shake it first, but anyway, it doesn't matter. One, two. 
So we have our red, yellow paint, which is the second primary color that we're going to be using on this color wheel. And um, you wet your paintbrush a little bit, and then you add it to the tip of your paintbrush the yellow. So you paint that in like that. Very carefully, not going over the line. Now yellow is a beautiful color because we all often um, relate to yellow as a sunshine color, the, the color of the sun. It, it brings happiness, so it's a happy color. It's a, it's a color that people tend to uh, choose for children, you know, in a bedroom, you know, you have a nice yellow color. It's a very welcoming color, a very happy color, like I said. And um, there's different fruits that are yellow. You have lemon that is yellow. And, you know, boys and girls, you get a varying shade of yellow for the different fruits, like guava when it's ripe, um, and so on. And then when you finish with the yellow, you wash out your paints from your paintbrush. And we're going to do the blue. So we're going to shake the blue as well. Shake it good. Because I find the, the red and the blue is a little watery. So it might be that I did not shake it properly. So always mix your paints properly to make sure that it's... Um, Okay, that's much better. So um, you take your paintbrush, you wipe it, and then you just dip it into your mixture like that. So I've got a little bit on my finger, so I have to take that out. So blue is a very cool cool color it's a, a it's a, a color that is is quite tranquil it's quite relaxing it's quite calming um yeah so we relate to the color blue you know it, uh, and it's also our blessed mother's color blue is our blessed mother's color blue and white so yeah the sky is blue, the sea is blue when you look at it. So yeah, it's a very calming and relaxing color. All right, so we're gonna just do this part, this segment by painting it in with our blue. That makes the three primary colors on our color wheel. And uh, right now we're gonna be doing color mixing. So uh, you can, well, I have some blue already, so I'm going to just um, scrape it in that palette there and then I'm going to add red. So we're going to do this segment here. So we're going to add some red to the blue, but you know what, I'm going to just drip, go ahead and drip drop some another drop of blue to make the purple so we're just going to use one because blue can be quite a strong powerful color so boys and girls we're going to just drop two three drops of the red uh, paint and then we're going to rinse off our paintbrush very well and then we're going to um, um, we're going to mix it up with the blue and the red that we just dripped inside of there so that we can get a nice purple so let's see what happens when we mix those two colors together you see what i mean it makes a quite a a, a a dark purple maybe i'll have to add more water to this if it's a little too dark so 
that adds a little bit of water and let's see how it will be when we paint it okay that's not bad so um here we'll just paint this in trying to keep it within the lines boys and girls not going over the line so let's just continue uh, mixing colors and you know it's a really wonderful thing to do uh, when you're able to mix colors to get a new color i think this purple needs a little bit of blue in it so i'm just going to wash this paintbrush off and i'm going to add just a touch of that blue i'm just going to go on my other side and just steal some of that blue like that and i think that's going to make it a better purple i think it's a little bit too plummy in color so let's just add that to it i don't know if it will yeah it makes a difference it really does so you paint that in right try not to go over the edge please boys and girls i'm trying to hurry this because um i noticed for the second term painting takes a lot more time than drawing and coloring in with crayons so you have it's a lot of preparation it's a lot of color mixing and stuff so the video will take a little longer than usual so you rinse off your brush and then we're going to pick, mix the red and the yellow to get this color here so boys and girls you rinse it off i'm going to add a little bit of red we'll put three drops maybe four Four drops and then we're going to have three drops of yellow maybe to two drops yeah that's enough that's more than enough yellow all right so we rinse off our brush nicely like that we don't want any purple so if there's any purple then you just have to go ahead and re um so when you finish you're just going to mix that up and hopefully you will get a nice vibrant orange let's see the only way you can know is by i think that's a very nice vibrant orange yeah i think that's a nice it's like a tangerine isn't it boys and girls how many of you all love oranges that's the 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 fruit that you would associate with the color orange you also can get mangoes what else with the color orange um yeah you let me know um the different fruits that are orange but this is a tangy uh color it's like um those fizzy drinks that you can buy f this is called Fanta. Yeah, it's um, really nice. Very fruity. That uh, orange is a very fruity colour, I think. So, yeah. Just going to just go over that nicely like that. And then, yeah, that should do it. Goody. Like that. And uh, the next um, segment, boys and girls, is which complementary colour when you mix blue and yellow together? Can you remember? All right. It's, let's just do it and we'll see the colour when we're mixing it. So we're going to add just one drop of blue. Actually, you know what? I can take some of that blue because... You know, what we're going to do for the next activity is nothing much I'm going to do. So I can take in that blue and add there in the green. So, so let's just try to do that. So we take a bit of the blue because I need some and we don't need much. We just don't need much boys and girls. Trust me, you don't need much. Because the blue is very dark already. And um, I'm going to, I'll leave that in the water. So we're going to put like 
two parts of the yellow in that so that it doesn't get too dark. One, two, that should be fine. Right? And you rinse your paintbrush out really good. And, um, yeah, so when you mix them together, what colour do you get, boys and girls? You see it? It's a lovely green colour. That's right. It's a lovely green colour. So we're going to um, paint this one in green. Could do with another little bit of blue, but I'm just going to say that suffice. That should be all right. That will be enough, boys and girls. So um, there you have it, you have your colour wheel with all the colours of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple boys and girls. Isn't that incredible, isn't that lovely, isn't that fun. We're going to have a fun second term because I know there's a lot of you who love painting. And so that's the only way that you will learn is through exploring colours, boys and girls. So here's your colour wheel. So your when you look at this colour wheel now, it looks like it is a flower. So you're, you're so right. So what we're going to do, we're going to... Put some white paint and black paint, which I did took for a previous video. And we're going to add white to each of our colours and paint this. And when you add white to a primary, to any of these colours, not primary alone, to any colour, it you um it then becomes a tint. It then becomes a tint. So I'm going to take a little bit of the white from this and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the, so it, the tint, it becomes a tint. So it's a lighter version, almost like a pink, boys and girls. So we're going to paint this. Petal next to the red when we add white it became a lighter version of the colour. So this is a tint. So that's like a pastel -y red, almost like a pink colour. Then you wash your paintbrush and we're going to go ahead and do the orange. So we're going to take a little bit of the, um, of the white again and we're going to go right here and we're going to uh, mix up the colour really well so that you can get let's just add a little bit more right so that's uh, that's like a peachy colour isn't it boys and girls when you add white to it it makes it a lighter version of the primary of the secondary colour orange of any colour it just, it's just a lighter version of the colour that you have um, selected. So that's a tint, the tint of the orange. You're going to wash out your paintbrush and we're going to do the tint of the orange. So just by simply adding, um, adding white to any paint, you will get a tint. So I'm going to just go ahead, take some of the white here and just go over here in that corner right there. And then we're just going to mix it well. And that should be a lighter version of your the yellow. Isn't that a beautiful colour, boys and girls? Yellow is such a beautiful colour, I'll tell you. It, it just brings joy. To paint yellow, it it looks so joyful and 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 it's like you know when you paint in something like a uh, mother mary or uh the saints in heaven even jesus and you want to surround them with light you just paint some nice yellow 
around them and that is like almost symbolize the light that's shining around them because Jesus is the light of the world and all the saints in heaven really um, they have they have the halo um, which shows that they are holy people so we're going to now do the green so we're going to take another bit of the yellow here white I beg your pardon white and we're going to add it to a little bit of the green here so that there's more um, white than green so that's just the lighter version of the green that we're doing right now just take a bit of water there and just to add to it just to make it um, able to cover the whole of this petal so when you add white to the green you make it a nice light green it's like pastel colors so we're going to do that to the blue and then to the, lastly to the purple so you wash your paintbrush thoroughly because if you leave any paint in your paintbrush and you go and you mix another color it will make the paint very muddy so you're going to take um some white there we don't have much so we're just going to take a little bit there and then the rest of it will be for the purple so we're going to mix it nicely right there and make this lovely sky blue add a little bit of water to it and that will do the trick so here's a light blue we added water to it and a little bit of the blue that we had mixed for this I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it so that we have enough on the paintbrush and that we can paint um, this tint. Boys and girls, another thing that you can do uh, is simply adding water to the colour will, um, will lighten your colour that, you, you, that you're, you're wanting. So you can use white, but with watercolours, you can also just add more water and it will lighten the color very much. So we're going to do a little bit of purple right here by adding white to it. And then we're going to just paint this area like a lilac. Isn't that a beautiful color? That is so pretty. This is a pretty lilac color. Yeah, it's like a pastel purple. lilac there we go so boys and girls here's the colors on your spectrum and i'm just going to go ahead and um just let you know that these are tints and if you add um black to any color it becomes a shade of that color so i think here we have um let us put um this black that we have here to the yellow that we have so we're going to add um, black to this like that and then we can add black to the orange and you'll see that it becomes you can see the yellow in the, you know but it's predominantly black because black is a very powerful color in any case so we're just going to go ahead and paint this in black. So there you are, boys and girls. I added the black to the yellow and the orange that I had here. So you can see in the yellow, you can see that this has like a like the base color of the um, orange. I'm just I'm just gonna take that off because it accidentally went on these are things that you can learn to do boys and girls if the, an accident happened you just take a clean brush and you just rinse it um, like that 
and yeah boys and girls so what I did I used um, the orange and black and you can see the back you can see the the base tone um, is orange you can see it here it looks brown and whereas with the yellow now it looks more green so if you look at it very well boys and girls um, so this is when you add black to any color it becomes a shade so we're just finishing that off very quickly and then um, try to mix the colors blend them in nicely so that they can look um, nicely distributed so I'm just going to rinse off this brush so that it can just transition smoothly between the two colors there you go so here you have your color wheel with your vibrant primary colors of red yellow and blue and your complementary colors of purple green and orange and the outside is the or each of the colors of the color wheel we added white to get tints and 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 for the background of this flower um flower power color wheel we have a tint of orange not tint shade because we added black not white black to orange and here we added black to the yellow to give this kind of a gray like a slate gray but you can see the yellow a little bit of green trying to um, come through this color here so boys and girls you know it's gonna be a blast this uh, second term because I love painting and I'm sure you love painting too and so we're gonna have a good time together uh, as we explore colors and make new um, paintings um, we're gonna discover together and uh, have fun along the way so boys and girls I'll see you in the next video I can't wait to see your work you can share with me um, when I meet you next or your work so take care bye